You know, I feel like we won the amazing race. Now, it may have taken a lot longer than on that TV program, but it has been similar because those of us who've been involved in, in this have traipsed over all kinds of open fields in Timberton. We've gone through brambles, through bush. We've climbed up steep hills. We've encountered a lot of detours and many dead ends, just like on the show. But here we are today, and I feel just as exhilarated as those people who win the amazing race on television. And I'm just so privileged. I just feel so lucky to have been able to work with such wonderful people over the years. And I really want to put a plug in for people to volunteer for the community. I've been involved for many years, and I have made so many friends through volunteering. I've um, become aware of so much that's going on in the town, and I really feel that we have great people in this town, and it, when they come together, they can do wonderful things. And despite bad economic times, the community supported passage of the bond because they believe so much in the value of libraries. And we owe such a debt of gratitude to the citizens of Tiverton for passing that bond because without that yes vote, we could not have gone on. We would, we would not be here today without that vote. A library is a living, breathing entity which opens many doors and provides us with more than books. This library will be the center of our town providing not only a place to discover new information, but a gathering place to exchange ideas, dreams, and hopes for our town. My thanks to the body, the people of the town of Tiverton, who voted to support this endeavor. They realize that a town without a library is a town without its heart. And on behalf of the state of Rhode Island, I'd like to congratulate Barbara Donnelly and the Board of Trustees and Lee Hoyer and the Library Building Committee for their vision and their persistence in making the dream of a new library become a reality here in Tiverton. Um, the libraries today, of course, are more than a place to find books. It's a place where young and old can come for programs, a place where people can use computers to expand their skills, find a job, or to apply for affordable health care. It's a place where you can learn how to use computers and digital tools to create things. It's also a place where you can connect with people in your community about things that are important to you and to do things that you enjoy, whether it's created around the state. I know when this library opens in a year and a half, you will marvel not only at the building itself, but at what goes on in the building, what you can learn here, and what you can do here, and who you will meet here. Again, my most sincere congratulations to the trustees, the building committee, the friends, and the fantastic staff of the Tiverton Library uh, under the leadership of Van Grealish Rust, who've worked so hard to make this day happen. And I can't wait to join you when we actually open the doors of the library. I also want to acknowledge Lee Hoyer, the chair of the building committee, all the members of the building committee for this magnificent design and very exciting uh, use of green technology and really cutting edge technology that is not only going to make this library a national model, but a community center and a place for learning. And, you know, in the 21st century, libraries are not just the sort of centers of communities and centers of learning. It's really a practical tool that's necessary for economic prosperity, for good health, uh, for learning. And so this is not only a wonderful symbol about the future of this great town, but it's really an important tool for the health and well-being of this community. So really I want to say congratulations to everyone who has been a part of this. I look forward to coming back and uh, being part of the uh, a ribbon cutting when the library opens, but this is an example of what happens when local communities, state government, and federal government all work together uh, to promote healthy and strong communities. So congratulations to everyone. And as everyone has said, this was really a demonstration of a community, this great community of Tiverton coming together, working together, and putting their votes and their resources behind this library effort. So this today is a celebration of this community as well as this library. He said it well, but uh, Andrew Carnegie said it also, and Carnegie was a great benefactor of libraries. He said a library outranks any other thing a community can do to benefit its people. It is a never-failing spring in the desert. 
So we are creating now a gushing flow of waters intellectually that will nourish generations of people in Tiverton and throughout this whole state. I just am delighted to be here. I'm pleased to have paid a small role. I remember the call to Barbara. It's always good to call when you can say you've got $475,000. <laughs> And unlike those generous people who remained anonymous, we typically don't remain anonymous. <laughs> but today we're celebrating, and uh, I look forward also to return uh, for the opening, but more importantly, to come in uh, years from now and see someone using a computer to connect with an old friend or connect with a job, to see a young child in a the children's library discovering parts of the world and parts of the universe that they never even contemplated before. And truly, on that day, we'll all sit back with great satisfaction and say, well done. To you all, well done. I want to close this part of the ceremony with a poem that was sent to me by a classmate of mine from high school. He is a retired career Marine who was wounded in Vietnam, and I think it's really appropriate for this occasion. The more faith you have, the more you believe. The more goals you set, the more you achieve. So reach for the stars. Pick a mountain to climb. Dare to think big, but give yourself time. Remember, no matter how futile things seem, with faith there is no impossible dream. Thank you all very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to, we're going to do the actual ground, groundbreaking over there.